Yo, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 92. Well, I finished the testing of the batteries. Uh, as you recall, a couple of shows ago, I talked about doing some tests on batteries, specifically cheapo batteries, for my devices. My devices being my wildlife cam, uh, my cameras, and stuff like that. Stuff that requires you know, pretty strong batteries, and eats batteries up pretty fast. Uh, also in that show, I told you about the test setup. It's basically, I was testing one at a time AA battery using a five, well, let me back up. I said I was going to use a 33 ohm load. But then after doing the first test, I realized that's not representative of what these devices are going to draw. So I changed it to a 5 ohm load. So it took me a little longer to do the testing. So anyway, I got the test done. Um, while the tests were running, I went on YouTube and looked at battery testing. Oh my gosh, there's tests. There's hundreds of videos out there. So I kind of asked myself, you know... Why do this? Nobody's going to care about it. They've seen so many videos like this. This is just going to be another boring video. Well, I did it because I wanted to test the batteries that are available to me. And most of the batteries, most of the videos I saw testing batteries were none of these batteries. None of these batteries. Well, maybe one. The energy, the, um, uh, Duracell. Everybody tests the Duracell. But I would want to test a lot of other things besides the Duracell. So, here's my conclusion. My objective, can you read that? My objective was to determine, to determine, determine, yeah, to determine, oh well, determine if cheapo batteries can be used in my electronic toys, being toys that draw uh, a lot of current. So, what I did is I made a test sample. Hope you can read that. And here are the batteries that I tested. First one was a Panasonic carbon zinc. It wasn't even uh, an alkali. So that was kind of dead out of the gate. And here I'm trying to show you the cost. I got four carbon zinc batteries for a dollar. So that's 25 cents a piece. This is important later. So write this down. It'll be a test. The next one I tested was the Sunbeam. Now, again, this is a battery I haven't seen any tests done on. And I got those at the local dollar store. So the Sunbeam uh, cost me... I got eight for a dollar. So that was only uh, 12 and a half cents a piece. That's a pretty good deal. We'll see. Uh, the next ones was the AC Delco. AC Delco batteries. No, this is a double A. It's not a 12 volt battery for your car. And I got those for, I got a hundred of them for $20. So that was 20 cents a piece. And the next one I tested was the inner cell that's sold by Radio Shack for one place, or you can get them on Amazon. And again, I got a hundred for twenty dollars, so the twenty cents a piece. The next I tested were some energizers. Um, they cost me for sixteen. They cost me ten bucks. Ten bucks. So this is kind of why I'm doing this testing. Ten bucks. So that's uh, 62 cents a battery. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then the last one I tested was a Duracell copper top. Uh, I got 12 of those for eight dollars. So that's uh, 66 cents a piece. Is that right? Maybe that's 75 cents a piece. What's wrong with my calculator? Let me see my calculator. Eight. Sorry, stand by. Yeah, 66 cents a piece. Yeah. I tell you, I'm getting old. I can't do anything about it. Calculate. And I threw in the mix 
since I was doing this testing anyway, I had to test that up. My Igo Green Alkaline rechargeable batteries, which I did a video on to, to talk about what those are. So I threw those in there. They're kind of in a separate category because they're rechargeables. And they cost me, um, they didn't cost me that, but that's what they cost right now. You can get eight for $12, which is a dollar and a half a piece. Okay. Another little note down here is the AC Delco and the inner cell batteries that I got 100 for $20 was a special deal. So if you go in online right now, you won't get them for that price. So they're going to be higher than that. Um, so I just want to let you know that as far as the cost on that, I got a special deal. And that special deal happens quite often. Um, I got those off of Amazon, free shipping and everything. So anyway, well, it's free shipping because I bought something else to make it more than $25. Okay. So anyway, that's the batteries I tested. Now, when I'm trying to make this as short as possible because I know it's going to get real boring. Or maybe it's already boring. Okay. Here's the test results. Which is what I did is I put the batteries, I gave them that 5 ohm load, and then I had my uh, wildlife cam, which can take time-elapsed photography, uh, record the output, the voltage output, and I let them run until they got down to 1 volt or less. And here's the results. The Panasonic carbon zinc lasted 105 minutes. Now, you know, this, this test is not very scientific. Number, number one, my setup is not very scientific. It's just a 5 ohm lung. Number two, my test sample is one. Very, very bad when you're doing testing like this. You know, I think a normal sample size you'd want to have is like 50. Well, I ain't going to use up 50 batteries. So keep that in mind. Anyway, the sunbeam lasted 109 minutes. So it kind of... Uh, it was about the same as the uh, Panasonic's, and it was half price. It was uh, 12 and a half cents. So that's pretty good. The AC Delco lasted 450 minutes, approximately. The Intercell lasted 386. The Energizer lasted 365. And the Duracell Copper Top only lasted 209 minutes. Now, let me say something about that. That was not a brand new battery in that it had been sitting in the drawer for a while. Not been used, but it had been sitting in the drawer for a while. Whether that had any effect on the number here being low compared to these other two guys, I don't know. I would have, I was thinking going into this that the Duracell would like blow these away. The other thing about the Duracells is that Watching some of the other videos about battery testing, and especially Duracells, it appears, and uh, feedback on Amazon, it appears that Duracells can either discharge um, over time, which maybe that's the case of this, or the Duracells you're getting today don't have as high a capacity because now they have you know, Duracell Plus, you know, they got all these versions of Duracell of, of which all cost more. So maybe the quality of the Duracell has gone down. I don't know. This is a sample of one. So keep that in mind. And then the last thing, I, like I said, I threw in there, I tested an Igo Green AA Alkaline rechargeable battery. And I talked about those before, as I said. They are alkaline batteries, but they are rechargeable batteries. They're special chemistry. And they do recharge. But it only lasted 185 minutes. So it was, as far as duration, it was well below the top winners and uh, double the cheapos. So that kind of puts that in its place. And as you can see, the winner was the AC Delcos at 450 minutes. Sample of one. Okay, this is running longer than I wanted it to already. Most of you have already left or fallen asleep. Anyway, I'm going to go on. Okay, test results. Co 
And this is the factor I use. Now, maybe this is the wrong factor, and please let me know if this is a stupid factor. But here we go. What I did is I calculated the cost per minute. Taking the cost per battery divided by how long that battery lasted until it was down to one more or less. So you can see uh, Panasonic was 002. This is cost. Uh, Sunbeam was 001. AC Delco was 004. Now there's a good one right there. Again, it's it's winning there with that 450 minutes. The inter Intercell was pretty close at 005, so it's within the noise level. The Energizer was 002. Not much better than the carbon zincs as far as cost. Um, and the copper tone was 002. Again, maybe that wasn't a good battery. And the Igo Green was 008. Uh, the most cost, the, the, yeah, it lost the cost test. But it's rechargeable. Okay. Because its duration was only 185 minutes. Okay. Gosh, I'm falling behind. I'll be through this within 10 minutes. Okay. Conclusions and observations. Ready for the test. My original 33 ohm was too light. It, it only gave me 50 milliamps, and my devices were probably drawing 300 milliamps. So I went to the 5 ohm load to give me 300 milliamps. And of course, um, that is uh, a static resistive load. So as the output voltage goes down, then the current drawn goes down. So to do a more scientific test, you would need a dynamic load that would keep that 300 milliamp load there all the time, no matter what the voltage was. I didn't do that. And I ain't going to. Um, the AC Delco battery lasted the longest under the test load, which was 5 ohms. Okay. The AC, data, the AC Delco battery was the most cost effective based on the cost per minutes with the inner cell close behind, and she's only had a sample of one that's probably a draw. The Igo Green battery was not far behind. I mean, it was, well, it was 450 compared to 180. So, it, yeah, it was about a half. But that's a rechargeable battery. So, you don't have to keep buying them until you, until it wears out. Okay. So, we're getting to the end. So, stick with me. We'll be okay. <laughs> Last slide. Okay, more conclusions and observations. Chibo batteries, Sunbeam and Panasonic, did not last and were not cost effective. But, now this was under a heavy load. And this doesn't come as any surprise. But, under a low load, which was my other test, which um, was 50 milliamps, it lasted for like days. It lasted for like four days, and I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this right. So if you have devices that don't have a heavy load, those those probably would be cost effective. The other thing to keep in mind is, and in my research I found this, is that those cheapo batteries, you have to be careful because they're prone to leak, and you don't want that. Now, I've had Duracells leak on me too. So, eh, your choice. Oh, well. Okay, moving right along. The Igo Green rechargeables are probably the most cost effective, although they had the shortest life. Only lasted 185 minutes versus 450. So, if you, well, okay, I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, and a side observation is the alkaline batteries, Batteries, the alkaline batteries, the better ones, will recover from a load after about four hours. That's what they, that's what I call self recharging. And just one second here. There is a company that sells a charger for regular alkaline batteries. And I have the feeling they're just taking the effect of Alkaline batteries, it's a normal effect that if you take the load off of them, you set them aside for a day or four hours or five hours, 
they will real they will recharge themselves. So I don't think these battery chargers are doing anything. I think it's just a gimmick. Like, like they, they came out with those like 10 or 15 years ago, and now they're coming out with a gimmick. I just don't believe them. But, eh, send me a comment. Okay, bottom line, the AC Delco and Intercell, when longer duration is needed, are the winners. For like for my wildlife, wildlife kit. The Igo Green, when sh short duration is needed, are the most cost effective rechargeable batteries. It's so maybe nothing new here. Nothing really new. The, the things I was really interested in is these AC Delcos and these intercells. Because quite often, as I said before, they go on sale. And so that makes them very cost effective. Now in contrast, if you had to go and buy some right now, the price is going to be higher. So you're going to pay more. So, and it could be upwards to, and instead of 20 cents a piece, it could be 50, 55 cents a piece, which kind of puts them in the price range of the Energizer and the Duracell. So, I still like these. They, they had good duration, and I did get a bargain on them. So, that's the show for today. Uh, Hope I didn't put you to sleep, or maybe you've been working hard and you need to take a nap. You can say thank you for uh, letting you take a nap. If uh, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, you're bored to death. You're probably not even hearing this part because you already shut it off. Anyway, that's the show for today. I will go back to reviewing radios now. Bye.